Keystone species of the deep sea. Certain species are essential to the health of whole ecosystems. Keystone species, which are defined as species that represent a significant component of certain ecosystems, are essential to the survival of the surrounding species. They range from grazers who help construct, shape and preserve ecosystems, to predators in a food web who maintain the population balance of another species. Ecosystems would not look the same without them, and may go out of balance. So want to know in depth about this species of the deep sea? Stick around as in this video we will talk about keystone species of the deep sea. Hello and welcome back everyone! Before we start, subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's dive in. Robert Payne, an ecologist who examined starfish along the Pacific shoreline in Washington state, first used the phrase keystone species in the 1960s. When a single species of starfish was eliminated from a location for an experiment, he saw a significant shift in the area's biodiversity. Following removal, the starfish's usual food source, mussels, saw an enormous increase in population, driving out competing species. This finding illustrated how important some species are to maintaining biodiversity and the general viability of an ecosystem. Beavers, who are renowned for creating dams that flood the surrounding area and create wetlands that are home to a variety of animals and plants, sea otters, who are top predators who keep other populations like elk in check, and grey wolves are some well-known examples of keystone species. Each of these animals influences its surroundings uniquely and importantly. What categories of keystone species are there? Predators. These animals assist in maintaining the balance of populations of their prey species to prevent them from displacing other organisms and plants in the environment. Sharks, for instance, can more easily graze on older or ill fish, leaving younger and healthier animals active in the environment and helping to avoid the spread of disease while preventing fish populations from becoming too large and overfeeding on seagrass, beds or other smaller fish. Ecosystem Engineers They are the creatures responsible for altering, destroying or creating new ecosystems. For instance, beavers cut down old dead trees to make their dams, which makes way for the growth of new trees and other flora. By gradually altering the flow and direction of rivers and streams, beavers also create new habitats, such as wetlands for other species to eventually occupy. Mutualists Species that cooperate or give services to one another are known as mutualists. For instance, corals rely on a particular species of algae for nourishment and provide the algae with protection in exchange. Another illustration is the relationship between bees and pollinating flowers. When bees consume nectar from flowers, pollen can adhere to their bodies and spread as they fly, assisting in the fertilization of flowers. Plants Some plants serve as the foundation of their ecosystems. The mangrove trees that border tropical and subtropical coastlines, for instance, perform a variety of ecosystem services, such as water filtering and coastal protection, and their roots act as modifiers for young fish and other species. Prey in the food chain, these are the species that serve as food for other species. For instance, krill, one of the tiniest ocean creatures, forms the base of the food chain and feeds other species, including the biggest whales. Although the sorts of keystone species are up for discussion among scientists, the most frequently mentioned ones include mutualists, predators and ecosystem builders. An ecosystem's stability and sustenance depend on its keystone species. They are closely observed because their extinction would have a significant negative impact on their ecosystems, and because they offer valuable information on how to save entire ecosystems and habitats. An animal, plant or microbe can be a keystone species. Mangrove trees are a keystone species because they protect shorelines from erosion and offer safe havens for little fish and other wildlife. Elk and deer, overgrazed on trees, grasses, reeds and other vegetation in Yellowstone National Park, placing stress on creatures that depend on plant life. Why do they matter though? Environmental Engineering Other keystone species, besides predators, are in charge of creating or preserving certain environments. Beavers are one of these ecosystem engineers, removing dead trees from riverbanks and building dams that redirect water to create wetland habitats. Another illustration would be elephants. They destroy grasslands and woodlands, allowing lesser species to flourish. Additionally, they cover great distances while carrying seeds in their excrement that help the establishment of flora. According to some studies, elephants can spread seeds up to 65 kilometers, preserving the genetic variety of many tree species and avoiding local inbreeding. For the preservation of equilibrium, ecologists may better understand the fragile, complex web of interactions that supports any particular ecosystem by using the notion of the keystone species. 
Additionally, it supports the case made by environmentalists for reducing human influences to save species and the intricate ecosystems they support. Because many species, including humans, would suffer without keystone species. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you liked the video. Please click the like button if you did. And if you're new here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.